when you work with audio circuits or guitar circuits or whatever kind of uh, music circuits uh, sometimes you need a tremolo or vibrato circuit and I want to make it at first of course went to the World Wide Web went to the 1970 schematics found this schematic that absolutely did not work it's in the so-called 99IC projects, 1979, uh, not only IC project, but there are also in this uh, magazine transistor units. And this was one of them. I tried it, it didn't work. Uh, I think they forgot the resistor here. That's one of the, in my ID, most important flaws in this circuit. And this has to be an oscillator but it doesn't work as an oscillator and the reason is I think that the back coupling is not okay and the back coupling cannot be okay because there was in the uh, original schematic you can find it here uh, there was no resistor here so that there could not be say a voltage drop to send the signal back and perhaps the phase was not correct anyway I don't want to pay too much attention to it attention to it uh, this is a circuit that really works it's uh, one of the circuits that I published on YouTube it was the lighthouse LED circuit and well Perhaps this contrast gives a better idea of the circuit. Made with a PMP transistor here, NPN transistor here. Uh, the idea of that lighthouse LED circuit was that the LED slowly uh, starts to light up and then slowly falls back, etc. etc. And that's all due to the value of these two capacitors here. Now I've used 100 nanofarad. Uh, and I will tell more about it, but uh, in the original schematic, and I will give the link in the text box, that was, as far as I can remember, approximately 10 microfarad here and 10 microfarad here, and it was made with uh, two normal uh, electrolytic capacitors that were connected back to back, so that they kind of acted as a non-polar capacitor on such a high value, 10 microfarad. But anyway, now I've used here um, 100 nanofarad and also here 100 nanofarad and I found out that, for instance, well, you, when you bridge this capacitor also with a higher value capacitor, could be that the circuit doesn't work. Anyway, no problem. Transistors are BC547B, MPN to BC557B, PNP. Here is the output. <coughs> you can you can take the signal out via a capacitor or via a resistor. In that case, you can drive DC circuits. And by the way, the only good thing, giving the first ID about how to uh, say um, get an influence on the audio channel is with this uh, transistor. So the idea of this original circuit that didn't work was uh, send a current or a voltage in a certain frequency say approximately 2 hertz up to 50 hertz or so to a transistor and uh, make that transistor pinch off here, pinch off the audio line in a certain frequency, say 5 hertz, 2 hertz, 10 hertz, etc. etc. So perhaps I'm gonna use this part of that old circuit, but this is only the first 
ID. Anyway, let's see what this circuit can bring. It works on 12 volts. 12 volts here out of that out power supply. Uh, and here you see, say, the waveforms that are now generated. And it is, the oscillator is on approximately 25 hertz. You can see it here. And that, uh, that means that during approximately 25 times a second the uh, audio that is sent through the audio channel is pinched off with the help of this oscillator, this vibrato oscillator. Perhaps also tremolo, I don't know the say the exact difference between tremolo and vibrato. I have to study that better anyway. So you can set the frequency here 100k and in the original schematic you could also could also set the depth but please note that this circuit is not complete. I have to make the second stage where the transistor pinches off the audio in the audio line. So that will be my second video within say a few days or so. But this is the say the basic oscillator that does the job. So here again uh, 25 Hertz. Change the 1 mega ohm potentiometer now somewhat. And this is that potentiometer here. 1 mega ohm. It is this potentiometer here. 1 mega ohm in the circuit. Change it somewhat. You can see that the frequency goes down to 10 Hertz. Change it to another position again. And with this signal we want to drive that um, transistor in the audio lead. Uh, I've used here uh, two capacitors of 100 nanofarad. And I found that it was a good idea to shortcut one of them with a capacitor of a somewhat higher value. When I uh, uh, also uh, say bridge this 100 nanofarad capacitor with a higher value capacitor, the circuit did not work so easily any longer. It still worked, but the time uh, during which it could pinch off was too long. So now I'm going to connect here that 220 nanofarad capacitor. That's this capacitor in, say, this bridge. So now this capacitor is connected and we can surely see at the output that the frequency drops down to a very low value, say 5 Hz. Has of course everything also everything to do with the setting alignment of that 1 mega ohm uh, potentiometer anyway. Turn that potentiometer again. 1 mega ohm potentiometer. Now we are on 4 Hz approximately. And turn that potentiometer back again. And we are on 6 Hz. Take the 220 nanofarad capacitor out. Of course, in that case, we go to higher frequencies 25 Hz. And well, I'm very curious how all these different frequencies will, say, sound when they pinch off, say, the audio channel. That will be a second video, perhaps third video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope it was a little bit interesting. The schematic again.
total systems are used NPN and PMP and the frequency where it works is set by the values of these two capacitors and because there is here a resistor that's parallel to the, that capacitor that has also an effect on the frequency, on the time during which the capacitor can be charged. Anyway, hope to work it out tomorrow or the day after tomorrow or this week. And I'm interested in how it all will work out. Say, trying to get this to a useful schematic for audio, tremolo or vibrato, vibrato circuit. Of course such a waveform uh, is perhaps not suitable to drive a transistor because it's a square wave but in you can use for instance to round out that square wave for uh, better audio purposes with the help you can use the help of a capacitor etc